Hey everyone, Lara here. So, ever since I read a comment from Hijinx, formerly known as Princess Punk, on my first video of, uh, what's it? Personal Style. That's the one. Ever since I read her comment of saying that I should do a makeup tutorial, I've been thinking, hmm, maybe I should. So I'm gonna do one now. Okay, well, I already did my eyes this morning, so I'm not gonna wipe all that off. And I did my face, concealer, powder, press, all that, so I look pretty much fabulous. For me, anyway, as good as I can look. But, anyway. So I'm gonna do perfect black lipstick. And that's it, I guess. So, things you'll need for perfect black lipstick. Toilet paper. Lotion. Don't even go there. Sally Hansen lip inflation. Compact mirror. Ben Nye theater makeup. Fair skin. Avon brow liner. Soft black. Though I use it for eyeliner and now lip liner. Avon Satin Gel Eyeliner. It is eyeliner, just so you know. I do all this because I don't have my black lipstick anymore. I lost it a while ago, so I make do with what I have. So, first things first, wipe off any excess makeup on your lips. We want a clean surface. Next thing we do, we take our Ben Nye Theater makeup, select the lightest shade, start applying it to your lips. Stretch your lips out like this so you can get into the creases, otherwise it'll end up like that and you'll smile and then there's gaps of color. Don't be afraid of mistakes, because it's blending in with your skin anyway. Unless you're severely dark skinned. Yeah, make sure you get in here on the insides of your lips, but don't eat the makeup. Lara Marie does not condone the eating of makeup. Because if you smile, or make a kissy face, see all that, yeah, it'll look ridiculous. Just get as far down in there as you can until the natural wetness of your mouth stops it. You're going to look pretty silly doing this, but it'll be worth it in the end. And that's about as good as I'm going to get it. Yeah, I get these insides here, too. Aha. No. Put the cap back on your makeup. Don't want any mishaps. Next step is take your brow liner. Take it and wipe off any old makeup. Oh, we're gone. Oh, don't be sad. Mommy's right here. Hee <laughs> hee. He's being grumpy. Okay, so now. What we do is we take and we line our lips. Isn't that right, Aragon? Gee. Taking the right, right underneath the line of the lips to make your lips look bigger. Unless you already have big lips, in which case just go with your natural lip line.
Put that lippy away. It's okay if you make a few mistakes because you're gonna wipe it away anyway with the lotion and the, uh, the toilet paper. He's been changed, he's been fed, he had his binky, there's nothing wrong with him, trust me. See? The illusion of big, of big lips, because I have tiny little lips, so I need a little help. Put the cap back on. Next thing we're going to do is take the lip inflation. It's already got some black on it from previous use, so that'll help it. Take it and use it like lip gloss. Now it's going to come out as a gray color because it's mixed with the clear. But that's okay, because this is just giving us an idea. See grayish blue color. See, it's not perfect, but it's getting there. So that cap back on the lip inflation. Oh, what, does mommy look scary? Oh no, mommy's not scary. <laughs> mommy's just a big teddy bear. Why am I getting the brow liner? Oh, no. I'm, I stand corrected. Do not put away the lip inflation. Just take all that lip inflation off there. Off this brush. And even use the toilet paper to wipe off some excess. So there we go. We take satin gel eyeliner. Just spin that around in there, not too deep, just enough to coat the brush nicely. And we begin painting our lips. Put on as much or as little as you desire. I like lots because I only wear black until they invent something darker. Less isn't always more.
store is after. That is in no way saying that you should overdo all your makeup. Certain things, yes. Not everything, though. So we're done with the basis of it. And just wipe off your brush. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the lip inflation. You're going to get a little bit on there. It's clear, so it's not going to give any other color. And this is optional, by the way. Just a little glossiness it'll give a nice shine to it it's just as a finishing touch There you go. Now we're going to take the toilet paper again, wipe away mistakes. This may take a couple corrections to get perfect. doesn't expire until 2012. Mm. 